I really was under the impression that they were separating. I mean, it was like reiterated to me so many times that that's what I thought it was. And it made sense to me too, because like he could pretty much call me whenever he wanted. Like I was the one that would tell him like, Hey, when your kids are awake, you need to spend time with your kids. Like do that. And then after they go to bed, like, if you want to talk to me, you can talk to me. But it was never, like, this super, super restricted thing. Like, sometimes, like, right after work, if I was, like, still talking to him, I'd get kind of bummed out. And, I, you know, i tell him, just like, oh, it's frustrating sometimes, like, having to, like, wait. But at the same time, I was never like, this is horrible or, you know, it was always like, I understood why. But then once his kids were asleep, he never like had any it was like he could do what he wanted do you know what i'm saying like sure. he was in his basement and she's upstairs and they're not speaking so it kind of made sense it wasn't like and you guys are just texting and or talking or whatever yeah. you know i mean and it was just it was like i said it was at certain times but that time and originally it wasn't but it was me that put that time frame on there because i thought he should hang out with his kids um those two times you were at his house, did you see any evidence of that? Him living in the basement? Did he ever show you that area? Or I've seen it, yeah. I went down there and saw his, his little workout equipment. And there's a bed down there all set up in the basement. It was all clean and organized and stuff. So, um, like, a, like a decent bed set up. So it made sense to me, like, hey, this is, this is what's happening down here. Um, so I saw it. Um, Even though his family was in North Carolina for multiple weeks, it appeared that he was still living in the basement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and he told me sometimes he would like go upstairs and sleep if if like he was home alone because I know she'd like go on business trips and stuff. But he's like, I don't like that bed anyway, so he didn't really like sleep up there. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, even when it was just him, so that was the impression that I got. Um, I know what you're talking about. North Carolina. Let's, yeah, go, go back to North so, Carolina. So, North Carolina. Um, so, he still made very frequent communication with me when he was out there. And so, he still made very frequent communication with me when he was out there. And so, he still made very frequent communication with me when he was out there. And at one point, he told me that they sat down. And they talked about it, and he told her that he wanted to either fix things or, like, to try to fix things. And if she didn't want to fix them, then they needed to, like, move forward with the separation and, like, actually file for a divorce at this point was, was the impression that I got from this and was what he told me. And so um, he said that she was, like, pretty receptive to just not trying he was like, she seemed like she just wants me to go. He's like, when she has her mind made up, she has her mind made up, and that's what she wants. And he's like, she doesn't want to try anymore. And he's like, and neither do I really. And he was like, it's done. And he's like, um, and then the next day, I don't even know what days these were. Sometime when he was out there, he told me, um, we're putting the house up for sale as soon as we get back. And I was like, well, that was quick. And he was like, it's her. She's ready to go. And I was like, okay. And so I left it at that, and then um, he got back, and I started asking him, like, what are you going to do? Because the Colorado housing market is fire, and you guys are going to sell this house, like, real fast. And I'm like, you need to start looking for a new place to live. And I'm like, where do you want to live? And I was really trying to help him out. I'm like, do you want to get a house? Do you want three bedrooms so you have one and each of your girls have one? I'm like, do you want to, you know, like do an apartment? Like, what do you want? You know, where do you want to live? Because he's in Frederick, but that whole area over there is just like a bunch of small towns and you can kind of just pick and choose. Everything's kind of, you know, and so um, he told me why well, I, I like Brighton and I was like, okay. And then he told me he wanted a two bedroom apartment and he said he wanted one room for him and the other room for his two girls. And I thought it was kind of cute. Like, I remember telling him, I was like, yeah, me and my sister had bunk beds, like, at my dad's house. And I was like, when we were little girls, and we were, me and my sister were the same age apart as him and his, I mean, as his two daughters, you know. So I told him, I was like, they're going to love it. I was like, they might be, like, stuck in, in one room together. I was like, but they'll become, like, best buddies. And it was really exciting. Like, I liked helping him, and I just wanted him to, like, I don't know. 
this is what he told me he wanted. So I was like, well, I will help you do the research. But another thing that I really took care of was to be like, where is she moving to? I was never like, you know what, screw your wife, try to get a full custody, none of that bullshit. It was always just like, you know, I'd ask him, I'm like, well, what kind of custody are you guys going to have? Because he's a, he at work, they're about to switch his schedule. So right now he's like on Monday through Friday, and they're about to switch these guys to eight days on, six days off. Mm, that's tough. That's awesome. And I, and I was, so I was tell, I was asking him, I was like, are you going to have your kids like on that? set of days off i was like because that would work perfect like one week on one week off and i was just like you know we just talk about it and i'm like what is your plan and he's like we haven't figured out exactly what we're going to do about the kids yet but he told me he's like colorado's a 50 50 state and she's okay with everything 50 50 like he said that she was like on board with this because she wanted it too like she was checked out of this relationship so that was like how he made this sound that it was like a very like kosher we're done kind of thing. Did and you ever give him like books or articles or anything to read about saving your marriage? Did you ever provide anything to him like that? About saving his marriage? Yeah, like how to recover a marriage or how to save your marriage. Or, you know, there's there's all sorts of publications no. and books out there. No, but I did tell him, and I don't know if I did this through text or phone. That will be something you guys will, I'm sure, figure out. Um, but I would tell, I told him a few times, like, I think that you should take the time to read some articles uh, about um, what separation does to kids. You know, and I told him, I said, when my parents separated, we were literally like three and five. We were almost the exact same age as these little girls. And I told him, I said, you know, I was so young when it happened that it didn't really have like a big negative effect on me because it was so small that I didn't really process it too well. I was like, but I do have cousins that their parents got divorced when they were like 10, 11. And I think that it hit them a little harder, you know, and I, and he's like, oh, they'll be fine. You know, and I told him, I was like, even though they're small and you think that they'll be fine. I was like, I think you guys should just read about it just so that you guys are prepared in case, you know, one of these two starts having a hard time with the fact that you guys aren't in the same house anymore. You know, and, and, and I would tell him, I was like, you know, there's pros and cons to it. Like, because he was, like, getting ready to do it. And it would be like, you know, it's kind of cool having two Christmases. And, you know, like, your parents get to go, you know, be happy doing whatever it is they want to do with their lives. And they don't have to be in a situation that's probably not good for the kids because it's not good for those two. You know, but at the same time, it was like, just read. Like, that's what I always used to tell him. I'd always tell him to, like, I, I tell people to read about everything. Reading is so good for you. So he at this time is telling you that yeah i am the guy trying to save the marriage and she doesn't want it that's what he told me that's what he told me so um and he yeah and then he was like she doesn't want it so i'm not gonna do it and then it was like we're filing for divorce we're selling the house and this was like all as soon as they were coming back from north carolina like boom 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 did you recall when he gets back from North Carolina? No, I don't even know how long he was out there. I know it was like less than two weeks and more than one. Okay. I don't remember. So he was he comes back early August, would that be fair? Oh yeah. It was definitely like in the first two weeks somewhere. Alright. Probably the second week of August at some point in that I don't remember when. Does his wife come back with him at that time? Or yeah, they all came back. They all come back at the same time. They time. all came back. Um and then uh yeah, so he he continues to just you know, tell me that this is, like, what he wants, and, and so I took the time, and you will see that in the text, too, where I, like, like, there, like, I found this apartment, it was perfect, it was so cute, I was like, it's in your price range, it's, like, six miles from the gym, it's 23 miles from work, I'm like, you know, it's super close to Frederick, it's gonna be by your kid's school, like, this is, this is the spot, you know, and, and, and I told him, I was like, I'll keep looking for more places. And he's like, well, there's some that I want to go see too. And he actually had me thinking that he was going to go look at these places this week. Before all okay, this. So this stuff. is fairly recent. Then, Ooh, this thought. just happened. Like in the last He's going to go weeks. look at apartments. He wanted me to go during, with him. When you say this week, are you saying like this, Monday this was the 13th? Like this week. Okay. Yeah. So I told him, I was like, well, pick out a few spots. And if you want me to come with you, I'll go look at them. But you, you know. You said earlier that he had never, um, or that the, the apartment wasn't for you and him. It was just for him and his children. Oh, yes. It wasn't, you weren't, you had no intentions of moving I, in with him. No, I have my own spot. I still have a lease there till July. And even then, like, he never asked me to move in with him. Okay. And I never tried to move in with him. I mean, I told him, I mean, 
I really try to take everything with this whole situation very slow. The only part that I screwed up on was the fact that he wasn't completely separated from her when him and I decided to spend time with each other. That is where I screwed up. But other than that, everything else, it was always like, you know, you build your life, I'm going to build my life, we will intertwine them, but I am not ready to, like, do this. And he respected that. Yeah, and I and I um, I even said that, and I don't know if that might be in the text, but said that two words like Chris, like you need space, like you're just getting out of a divorce. Like personally, I think jumping into a new relationship is a little quick. It's like I was in a relationship earlier this year, and I think this is also a little quick. And I'm like, so why don't we take our time? And I'm like, if you guys end up doing a week on a week off with your kids, I'm like, the week you have your kids, be with your children. And the week that you don't, I'm like, I don't even want to see you every day. I'm like, I think we should spend, like, a few days of that together. I'm like, because I like my space, and I think you need your space. I think you need your space to, like, develop your identity again and, like, get it back. Because I think he's just been, like, so wrapped up in this whole thing that he's got in his own life. And his life that he, I mean, he doesn't remember probably what it's like to, like, be single or have time where it's, like, just him. Sure. And so I was just like, you know, like embrace that i think it's a beautiful thing and i really try to like take it smart with all that and it was the same thing with his kids i was just like you know like and i and we talk about things every once in a while where i you know i'd be like hey if i ever meet you know because like i have a lot of house plants that's a good example so i have a lot of house plants and i told i told him i was like one day if i ever meet your kids i was like i'm gonna show these girls how to like paint pottery and plants plants i was like i think they would love to see something grow that they built i think it would